welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This is an update on growing vegetables indoors all year round. I live in zone 5B, so growing food indoors allows me to extend my growing season, have fresh leafy vegetables and herbs year round, as well as growing an indoor survival garden. I'm growing food in the winter months under a grow light under a full spectrum bulbs, which produce a balance of cool and warm light that replicates the natural solar spectrum. My south facing window is already crowded with sun loving indoor plants. So the rest of my food is being grown under my grow light. This journey has this trial and error. You have to determine the right type of environment that works for you. For example, adequate lighting, grow like, humidity, the right supplies, even moving air and tender loving care. And the moving air will require a fan if you're not putting your plants near a window where you can open up the window and have moving air. Tomatoes and bell peppers were very challenging to grow indoors. If the indoor environment does not mimic the outdoor environment, the plants will struggle. And that's what mine did. Light being the most critical determining factor in tomato and bell peppers yields when growing indoors. Next time I will consider varieties that may do well indoors like the small sweet peppers and dwarf cherry tomatoes. Greens and herbs are the easiest plants to grow indoors. They are re relatively pest and disease free when you do it correctly. So let me show you the leafy vegetables that I am growing under my grow light. I'm growing lettuce and as you can see it's going really well. This lettuce has been harvested twice since I have bought it in from outdoors. I am growing stevia and stevia is a challenging um, plant to grow. It requires a lot of moisture. I'm also growing basil. Now I bought this basil from indoors. Excuse me, I bought this basil from outdoors and I have been harvesting it regularly so I can keep it bushy. I'm also growing two types of basil with this one. I'm growing the regular basil and I'm growing the Chinese basil. Now this Chinese basil does like to flower. So I usually pinch off the flowers to keep it bushy and keep it uh, healthy. I'm growing a avocado plant that has had its struggles. It doesn't do very well with uh, tap water because of all the minerals and the chemicals in the tap water. So I have had to start using bottled water. As you can see, I'm growing turmeric right here. This is also my turmeric plant I'm growing indoors. This came from outdoors and it went through an environmental shock. So it had to get cut back, but it's starting to shoot up and it's doing well. This is also my ginger plant. It was outdoors and now it needs to come indoors. It takes about 11 months for ginger to grow to full maturity and it will require another four to five months before the ginger is ready to harvest. And I'm growing sage, which is doing very well. I'm growing or uh, oregano, which I have to harvest regularly. If I don't, it gets really stringy and it's, oh my God, the flavor that oregano can bring to your salad is actually amazing. I'm growing arugula. This also has been harvested. I'm growing rosemary and I'm growing onions from the store. And I also bought in one of my, one of three of my pineapple plants that I have to bring back indoors to overwinter uh, during the winter months. So as you can see, the vegetables that I do really well in growing indoors are more of uh, the leafy vegetables and more of herbs. And the good thing about growing vegetables indoors is when you're living in a northern climate like I am, zone 5B, you're able to have herbs that you can utilize, stevia, lettuce, sage makes a nice addition to salads as well as oregano. I can mix my arugula with my lettuce. And then of course I have my herbs. So I just wanted to give you an update 
on growing food indoors, one of the tips that I want to provide is natural lighting with sunshine or under full spectrum bulbs, which produce a balance of cool and warm light that replicates the natural solar spectrum. So make sure your lighting is right where it should be, where there is natural light with sunshine or under a full spectrum bulb green light. The ideal temperature for growing food indoors is 65 to 70. It requires an average temperature of 50 degrees to grow. But again, the ideal temperature for growing food indoors is between 65 and 70 degrees. Make sure you're providing good drainage to prevent root rot. I use the fan for movement. So if you real uh, noticed earlier in my message, I noted that to replicate the outdoor environment will require air movement. So if you do not have your food or your plants near a window, then you want, where you can open it up and get air movement, then you would have to um, use a fan for air movement. And I do that two or three times a week. You do want to fertilize regularly, harvest often, as I noted that I've been harvesting this lettuce and the basil, the sage, the oregano, and the arugula. And one of the indoor predators for me that I've had to deal with is gnats. So I'm using sticky traps, as you can see, and I'm using this device called Catchy, and it's an indoor insect trap, and it's really nice because at night, it um, illuminates a purple light and it attracts the gnats and then I could catch them here. And then I also supp supplement them with these uh, sticky traps. And this is the only indoor pest that I've had to deal with. But other than that, it's been relatively very easy to grow food indoors and have nice herbs and leafy vegetables all year round. So I wanted to give you an update on growing food indoors, share with you some of my challenges, errors I made, course corrections I'm gonna make in order to add uh, additional food to my indoor crop. And I hope that if you are considering trying to grow food indoors, that you will share your tips or you can uh, glean from my tips and my trials and error. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button.